just love that autumn look in the trees and the smell of harvest in the air. Well, let's get to town and get some coffee. Well, let's get to it. So I bought a uh, gooseneck trailer off of the county lines dealership so I thought it'd be smart just to have a gooseneck trailer for hauling around odd stuff so I got a good deal on a 22 foot gooseneck we're gonna go pick that up now just love the look of the golden trees in Iowa here man is it beautiful so we're gonna go over here Casey's uh, I've made it pretty regular. I go get uh, coffee in the morning on K at Casey's. I guess why not? I mean, uh, you live in the country, you find excuses to go talk to people, right? So we didn't see anybody we know. That's kind of odd because usually a small town, we always know somebody, but it's all right. So let's go pick up our gooseneck now. So what do you guys think? Do you like my new gooseneck trailer? Man, I do. That is one beautiful looking trailer there. Woo! Her tech. So we're just pulling in here with our beautiful new trailer. So, actually, I don't have a lot going on today. So I thought about how about I basically drive all the land I inherited. I'm not a hundred percent sure, you know, what land is mine, where my land ends. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity, being I have today free, is basically just uh, go around, snoop around my land because one, it's my land and I can basically do what I want with it. And two, great time to start scouting out some hunting spots don't you think I mean look at this it's starting to get deer hunting season here soon we need to get some spots spotted maybe even uh, see if we can start uh, placing some corn feed down don't know so I'm gonna go get my gator so we just unhooked a trailer right there so that's basically the primary what we had to do today. Beans today is the weekend. We are just going to enjoy ourselves and go for a little stroll in the gator. So I'll open our garage door up. We've got the gator parked in here nicely right by our bobcat. Pretty little bobcat that is jump in here if you don't know we actually won this gator on a raffle yep our luck was shining on us that day so I basically so I'll pull up a map on my phone here so basically I own everything purple over here right here where our house and our dealership is there's a grass spot over here in field six which is a huge field we ended up selling field 15 just because it was too much for us right at the get-go so we do not currently own that field so don't know if i'll end up renting it later on we'll see but right now that's a little bit too much for us we uh i'm just learning how to farm here don't want to get too big too quick let's go around here i did notice when i was building my road i do have one great spot and i will be planting some corn right here this is going to be my primary winter hunting spot right here beautiful little uh, tower made so 
we get to overlook this big open piece of nice hay field which will be great thinking about next year possibly planting a little bit of corn here just to help entice them big bucks to walk into my sights you know what I mean so beautiful little uh, hunting cabin here we also basically got this whole side over here which that is Jake's land off to the side there but we'll ask him if he'll allow us to hunt on his land but hopefully he will Let's keep driving here so that will most likely be my primarily hunting spot or he kind of had that spot picked out I'll just one of the things I will have to watch for I'll have to make sure I'm shooting up from the tower down because I definitely don't want to hit shoot a window out of my house shoot through my grain bins uh, shoot through any of my equipment down by my dealer my trucks and definitely don't want to shoot my wife them are all bad things so this looks like another spot, deer, or we could do some pheasant hunting over here, dove hunting. So this all looks like great hunting land here. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know if I will disturb this land here. I may bail it, but other than that, I don't think I'm going to rip it up. At least this portion of land here. We'll drive across our driveway here. So we got our grain bin set up here, our little ditch that we built. And then we are on the back side of our our lot my uncle's lot right there and this is another piece of grass so I may disturb this land right here and I'm thinking about possibly moving a dealership either over there across the street or right here I think a dealership would be more enticing more appeal, more uh, bring more drive-bys just in to look at the merchandise and the vehicles if you have it by a highway and not by a dirt road or a gravel road. So would like, but that's all big money purchase items that right now we don't want to make. So we do own this piece of land right here too. So all this we can believe thinking about possibly putting some maybe a pasture right here thinking about getting into some cows uh, I got to grow a lot of things and a lot you know kind of need to build a farmyard too so I'm kind of thinking where will I build the farmyard where's the best place maybe right behind our current lot would be a good spot to have I don't know you guys will have to help me out what do you think is the best spot I do own that land right across the street right there we'll go across uh, not too appealing there's a big uh, pig feed lot I do not own that so it is uh, what you call stinky land here but we do have access to basically some slurry fertilizer because of our location here all benefits we got this tree cove right here with that uh, field of corn right beside us over here great spot for hunting uh, while maybe uh, 
build some type of tower up on top there so we can just pick them off while they're walking to their uh, laying point early in the morning. Good thing there's not much traffic going on right now. Looking forward to that. So we own the land right around the church here. So we give them plenty of space so they can have their practice there. On this little uh, tree cove right here. So uh, I think I'll, you know, have uh, plenty of pheasants this year just because I'll just be able to walk all these fields. Great places to walk and hunt. So this is another uh, tree grove over here we have. Great little tree grove. Thinking, you know, this would be good to uh, maybe set up a deer stand in. Or at least walk for uh, pheasants and quail and dove. We do have an old, uh, what is it, a barn here? So we got an old barn right here. Don't think there's anything in this barn that I know of. It's old forgotten barn. Walk around here quick. So nothing too appealing. Got old hayloft. Nothing up here but rats. And the occasional owl. What? Do you see that? Let's see something hidden in that tree right there. Oh man. I did not know this was here. That boys is a 5088. An old famous international. Man, I didn't know my uncle had this. He must uh I wonder what's wrong with this thing. You know what? Maybe we need to get this back in the shop, start looking at it. I bet the battery's dead. Yeah, it's completely dead. Don't know. So it looks like... Yeah. It, it needs some work. But I think we can get it out of here. If not, this is a good project to have over the winter and fix this old tractor up. I did not know... My uncle had this tractor out. I don't even know what was wrong with it. I'm sure there is something majorly wrong with it because it's in the re row. Looks like we need to put some air in some tires. Let's see. I think I'm going to go back and get our old Dodge, get old toll chain see if I can pull this old girl out of there and get it home. Let's get back to our old Dodge and see if we can find a tow chain back at our uh, lot. Gotta look around here, see if we have a chain somewhere around here. Gotta be a chain somewhere we can use. A grinder, a wee whacker, Probably need to grab a chainsaw too, just to be smart. I'm sure, some of them branches need to be cut back. All right, let's go look at our lot and see if we got anything down there. So I did not find a chain anywhere around the lot, so I decided to come down to Platte Valley uh, dealer here, see if uh, Buck can help us out. If he has anything we could possibly, if he has a chain we could possibly purchase. Oh man, I'm gonna make some people mad at me. I better get within the lines. There we go, close enough. They won't be mad at least. Whoa. 
I like ye. Somebody extended their lot. Let's go see where Buck's at. See, uh, we can talk. I might do some snooping. Buck is busy with another customer. I'm gonna do a little snooping around here. What we got there? We got an, uh, 635M. Looking pretty good. Another 145M. Ooh, a 7290R. Purdy. Got the front three point hitch. That is kind of rare for around here. Got this giant tractor, 8345R. 370 RT. Hmm. That looks pretty. I think we're a long ways away from that, but maybe one day. Ooh, holy cow, that is one giant planter. Wow. It's a big boy there. Some little old mower tractors. These would not be a bad tractor to have. Good looking little uh, 2032R. Ooh, hmm. Little Kubota here. I know a lot of the local farmers have these Kubotas. They are a pretty good little tractor. Don't know. I'll have to ask them what their opinion is on these, but they look pretty nice to me. Good looking spreader. So, this is something I may look into getting in the future a 2720 disc ripper there. Only issue is, is I don't have the horsepower to pull that bad girl there. Got a little bale spear down there. Got some pretty combines, but we're set on combines now, so... Man, there's some pretty looking tractors down this row. Ooh. What do we have here? Got this 4640, it looks pretty. Man, oh man. Does this... 40, 55 look good. That's a good looking tractor there. Another good old loader tractor there. 1586. Some are some good tractors there. So this looks like an extension they actually did here recently. Got an 8330, 9560R, ooh, 7710. It's a good old loader tractor to have there. So, Buck wasn't around, he was with another customer, but we ended up talking to his boss and got the chain we need. So, let's get over to our tractor. Alright, so we're just pulling in here. So we're trying to make it around these bushes. Get in over here. A little bit tricky getting back to this tractor. So it's back on the other side of this old forgotten barn here. See if we can get this old hitched up and pulled back. I think we might have to break out the chainsaw and do a little uh, cutting back first. Ooh, I think maybe right about here would be good. Alright, so we got the chain hooked up. 
really hoping we can pull it straight out here. Let's get the chainsaw and see if we can do any work. We cut down a few trees right here. Maybe we can cut these up a little bit here to help out. So we're pulling back these trees that got cut up here, kind of grabbing, we're having a hard time. We might have to cut these up a little bit more, catching. Got that one, pull back these other ones. Ugh. Probably should have brought like our uh, 4020 over here pull these out. On these, there we go. There, now we got that. So I think we may be able to get this. Let's see. We're gonna give it our all, that's for sure. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't want to budge. It's being stubborn. Come on. Get a little run and start with it. Oh. Man, is it being stubborn? Oh, Cummins is having a hard time there. I think we're gonna give it one last big push out of here. It's starting to get dark out here. Come on. Something's got it stuck. So we cleared out as many bushes and branches and everything we could possibly have. Hopefully now we can give it one final push out of here. Oh, there we got it. We got it. There it's going. So now we just need to pull it out here so we can get in front of it with our uh, loader, our flatbed truck man is it being difficult it does not want to come we're giving this truck everything it's got all right i think that is probably good enough so i think we can get the flatbed truck right in over here get this thing loaded up on there let's get home get our old uh international over here and see if we can load this thing up on it. So we got our old international here. This thing's got a winch on it so it should work pretty good. I just keep using this truck all the time. I'm not gonna have any reason to get rid of it. So hopefully we can winch that uh, old tractor up on here. Let's see. Alright. So we finally got this thing loaded, and man, I didn't want to show that because let's just say I would have gotten in trouble with OSHA uh, multiple times. So there was nothing safe about that whatsoever, but it's on there now. Don't you worry, and we have all of our fingers, toes, and arms, and legs, so that's always a good sign. But. We need to get this back. I don't know if we will be able to work on this. If you don't know, we don't have a good shot to work on it. So maybe I'll take it into a shop in town. I might see if Platte Valley would want to work on it or I will build a shop. What do you guys think? 
but let's get this back to our lot. It's getting dark out here soon. Start this old international up. Got to take this creepingly slow. It's kind of odd. An international on top of an international. Take this very slow over this road. Don't want to cause any more damage than what already is. Does look like it has a pretty bad uh, engine leak, so I'm thinking something's probably cracked for it to sit in a weed row. Definitely a tractor we may want on the farm. We at least need to fix it up and maybe sell it. Drive this old girl up in there. And there we go. Got this old girl home. I think we'll just leave it here. We'll lock the gates. But to me, that was a great find. So we can fix this old 5088 up, use it on the farm or trade it off one of the two but you'll have to let me know what you guys think we should do but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time